Oh, so here we are. Night number one of two benefit shows held at the SPAC, raising money for the floods in New York and Vermont, areas of uh, both states kind of devastated by these floods. So Fish kind of putting together something here. And um, I'm sure it was going to be a huge success. There was, you know, you could see the water wheel all over the uh, webcast tonight. If you haven't had a chance to donate or you didn't get to tonight, I'm sure you'll have a chance tomorrow. Always go check out the webcast if you haven't by now and um, get all the details there on the fish website, livefish.com. So let's get into the show here. And it, as it started out, it felt like, okay, this is kind of a bonus show. Maybe we won't get like a typical fish show, you know, whatever that means at this point, you know. I think at this point, it means you're going to get Wave of Hope. I think that's what a typical fish show is. But you're also going to get sand, so that was pretty nice. All right, so here we start out with Kill Devil Falls, Moma Dance, o Ocelot, Wedge. You know, a lot of songs we're familiar with, they seem to like to play. All played very well. You know, they nail those songs all the time. So that's what I meant why it just felt like, you know, it felt like you just, you know, all right, we're just going to get, not, not that they have like a greatest hits, but uh, we're going to get like a greatest hits type of show here. And then uh, Maul kind of, you know, throwing a little monkey wrench into that, getting a little tricky here. Maul just certainly does not fit. And, uh, you know, I like the Mike Gordon songs, most of them. Talking about you back in the bubble. All right, so then Punch You in the Eye won. All right, not to just roll through all the songs here, though. You know, they, they were all hot. Moba Dance, the jam, even felt had a little wingsuit feel to it. Ocelot's always going to build nicely. The Wedge, the jam build in. And then, like I said, Mike Gordon's Maul. Maybe put an end into the uh, Type 2, the uh, first uh, Type 1 jamming that we got here. And then Punch You in the Eye, a lot of song a lot of people have been calling for. I think a lot of people would have loved it up here, but we get Punch You in the Eye right down here instead. And Kill Devil Falls, you know, the way it's been hot all summer, it's an appropriate over there. It's one of the songs it's becoming, oh, we got the Chalk Dust here, Kill Devil Falls down here. Like I said, Moment Dance was hot, Ocelot had the build, Wedge always available. And then Maul, you know, not that I, you know, all right, all right, we've already been over that. And then this is where things start to get big. You'd be like, all right, you know, Sand going the extra mile. I did not realize what they were teasing here in Sand. It seemed like definitely they were not even just a tease. Trey was just flat out playing something. I thought I recognized. I wasn't sure. Looking online and then everybody's asking, Wizard of Oz, Wizard of Oz, Wizard of Oz. And that does appear to be it. Someone on Instagram, I apologize. I didn't see who it was. And, uh, you know, once you've seen something on Instagram, it's hard to go back and find it again. At least I have that problem. But they said that the uh, the Wizard of Oz debuted on this day, August 25th, 1939, made its theatrical debut in the United States. And uh, I'm sure Trey, being the dork that he is, he probably still reads the New York Times, that little factoid probably in the Times this morning. Trey mixing it into the show tonight. And then rock and roll. They've laid off of it mostly. You know, this isn't 2009 and 10 anymore where you're getting that song all the time. Wish they would have just, you know, if they're going to play covers, there's many others I would prefer, but ending the set strong there after the sand, you know, if the sand would have just carried it on, ended the set that way, and it felt like we were, there was a little bit of a break there, I was like, whoa, whoa, well, you know, checking the clock there, a little early, guys, all right, so then we get the rock and roll to end it, pretty strong first set, you know, highlighted by that, punch you in the eye, I'm sure everybody was happy to see, the moment dance, they played around, how many, I mean, what are the stats on it being the second song of the night? And then over here, Evolve Wave of Hope. If you made a donation, you probably wanted your money back after they opened with these two. I'm not sure. We were up to 28,000 people on the webcast at this point. And, uh, you know, not, the Wave of Hope had a great summer. Evolve, you know, they might have played. I think they played these two songs back in Huntsville together as well, as well as Maul. And a repeat of the worst songs from Huntsville, maybe. And then, I don't know, what are they trying to blow? They were trying to get people to leave the webcast. So, you know, it opens up the second set, getting it in and out, didn't go too deep. Wave of Hope did try to go deep, but just kind of felt like it was never there. And then luckily, Simple coming in to save the day. And uh, Fishman, really. You know, Trey still maybe was lingering like he was here, but Fishman was like, all right, enough's enough, let's go. And then Fuego coming in after Simple felt like, all right, they're not done jamming after all. Although Fuego, it felt like it kind of had its dark moments. They kind of rushed through it. They wanted to get in one more and that one more. Would it be Chomp Dust? Would it be Chalk Dust? But wow, man, what an incredible Chalk Dust. Almost had like a, uh, while they always stayed there within Chalk Dust, it felt like almost like a stash jam or a split open and melt jam. Really good big pie. And then ended with the uh, Munchkin Land. I was like, is that a nod to Fishman? Nope, once again, calling out the Wizard of Oz. And then Velvet Sea Santos. My goodness. Woo! 
there was a Mount Rushmore, Santos would certainly be on it. But let's see, you know, who's, who knows, you know. Like I said, they were bonus shows. You got that. That was a monster. Fishman saved it, saved everything here. And then Chalk Dust, really good. Well, that was one of my favorite Chalk Dusts in a while. Eh, maybe not. Eh, maybe not. There's, the, you know, it, it's, it goes either way. All right. Well, people, check out the water wheel if you haven't already. Help the people of New York and Vermont. And um, that's it. Oh, I also got another thing here. Well, I'll, I'll show that. I'll have to continue that. I started to do maybe a little something different with the whiteboards. Well, we'll see. Boom. Maybe I shouldn't have boomed you. We're going to have a little more. Boom. Thanks. Uh, see, this is the other thing I'm seeing. You, I like it, but I don't know if it works for the video or not, does it? See what I got there, though? If you're 2.0, you know for sure. In late 1.0, I suppose. I like it. <laughs> All right, boom. We're officially out of here. Let me get a better, a little closer look. Ha, 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 ha.